Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are gonna be talking about nutrition plans. I'm gonna be walking you through what it takes to create a good nutrition plan so you can start seeing results in your workouts and your diet. Before we get started, don't forget that the April workout calendar is now available, so click the link in the description box down below, sign up, and let's get started. Before we get started, guys, I just wanna say I have a killer headache today. My energy is kind of wonky. It's only on this left side. I already know what it's from, but it won't go away. I've tried everything, so just, you know, the energy isn't as crazy as usual. That's why my head is throbbing. Nutrition plans. It's very important to have some solid nutrition while you're going after your health goals. In general, you wanna eat pretty healthy in order to have a long lasting life, right? So let's talk about it. There's a lot of things that go into nutrition and having a good balanced diet. First, you have to look at your goal. What, this is step one. So step one is to look at your weight goal, your health goal, what is it? Are you trying to lose weight, gain weight, maintain weight? Do you want to just be healthy? Things like that. You have to really assess your own self really quick. And then if you do wanna lose weight, you have to stand on the scale and say, how much do I weigh? What is my goal and how much do I wanna lose? And by when do I wanna lose that? So you have to start assessing those things first. That's step one, figure out the goal. If you're gonna be gaining weight, you have to figure out how much do I weigh, what do I wanna gain, and when am I gonna be satisfied at this heavy heaviness. And then if you're trying to just maintain, you say, oh, I weigh this much, I just wanna be healthy and eat good, and then stay the same. So this is the step one. You have to figure out your goal for your body. Step two would be, what kind of exercise regimen are you on, and what can your body sustain? So if you're going to be gaining weight or losing weight and you wanna eat healthy for those things, you also have to put into account the amount of exercise you're gonna be doing. So your activity level is very important. If you're working out five, six, seven days a week, you're gonna need, even if you're on a weight loss journey, you're gonna need a sustainable amount of food because you don't want to deplete your body of vitamins, nutrients, and all those things that you need to restore the muscles that you're breaking down and building up when you're doing your workouts. So that would be number two. What is your exercise plan and how can you work out and eat right in order to get those goals? They do go together, so you really have to figure out, am I doing heavy weight training, strength training in the gym seven days a week and I'm trying to lose weight? Well then, you're still gonna need a good amount of calories in order to replenish the muscles. If you're training, but you're not training that much, and you're trying to lose weight, you can maybe eat a little bit less, you know what I mean? So that you can cut those calories and, and save that energy. If you're trying to gain weight and you're working out six, seven days a week and you're bulking and you're eating big, you're gonna need a lot of, a lot of macros, basically is what it's called. You're gonna need a lot of food so you can feed the muscles, replenish the muscles, and on top of that, build them up because you're trying to gain mass. So number one is to assess the weight goal. What is the goal? Number two, what is your workout schedule like? Number three, you gotta figure out your meal times. It's really important if you wanna see progress, and a lot of people don't do this, but eating on a feeding schedule, I know it sounds weird, like we're cows, right? You have a feeding schedule. Get to the trough, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's not like that, but having a solid meal schedule is very important. Waking up, eating 30 minutes after you wake up, a lot of people skip breakfast, a lot of people eat breakfast, but they eat breakfast hours later. Your body needs nutrients at specific times during the day, so you've gotta figure out what time you wake up, what time you're gonna eat breakfast, spacing out your meals every four hours. If you're doing intermittent fasting, every 16, 16 hours and eight hours of eating, it totally depends on what you want for yourself. So you really have to figure out okay, what is gonna be my feeding schedule? Am I gonna eat every four hours? Am I gonna eat less often? Am I gonna have a little tiny meals? And a lot of them spaced out. Because this is going to determine your weight gain, your weight loss, and also the amount of calories you're gonna to need to restore those muscles on your workout plan. So those are the three things so far. What's the goal, the weight goal? What's the exercise? And now we have, what is the feeding, the feeding times? Number four, you gotta figure out your macros. There's a base macro, it's called the basal metabolic rate, BMR. BMR is the short term for it. And this is the minimum amount of calories that you need to survive during the day. I think most people, it's like 2,000 calories you need. 
So you need to find your BMR, you need to find your exercise program that you're currently on, and you have to find your goal, and you have to plug those three things in together to make sure that you're eating enough to stay alive and to be healthy, you're eating not enough to gain weight if you're trying to lose weight, and you're exercising just enough to stay healthy, toned, and lean, or whatever it is that your goal is. A lot of people I find are on a weight loss goal, so I use that as an example more often than a weight gain goal, just because most of the time people wanna lose weight, unfortunately. But that's just the way it is sometimes, right? So that would be number four. You have to find your BSR, BMR. Find your BMR and then from there, and it's actually easy to find your BMR, you guys. You can get this scale. It's called the Renfno scale. It's on Amazon. I'll link it down below. Get the scale, stand on it. It comes with an app. It scans your body. I'm not saying it's 100% accurate because, you know, it might not be, but it'll get you a nice range. There's also a lot of calculators online. I can link some of those below. You put in your height, weight, goals, you know, and you can get your BMR on there. And it's important to know that so you have a, an idea of what your BMR is so you know how much you need to eat to stay healthy. Now, number five is you gotta track your macros. What are macros? Macros are the breakdowns of the substances you're eating. So protein, carbs, fats. Those are the things that you're gonna eat. Those are the things most people eat. Now you have to find out how much of each you need in order to get to your goal. And that's what I mean by tracking your macronutrients. The macronutrients is, okay, I can eat, you know, 500 grams of carbs and 300 grams of protein, you know, these things and be on my goal every day. So when you're creating a nutrition plan, you need to know how many macros you need of each thing, fat, protein, carbs, and you need to know when to eat them because you don't want to eat them at certain times a day and you also need to know what are healthy sources of those things you can get fat from anywhere but is it healthy sources of fat probably not so you got to figure out okay i'm going to eat good avocados good oils olive oils avocado oils healthy oils and things that are like good fats salmon these things omega-3 vitamins supplements and this is where you're gonna get your good fats from. And on the other side, carbs. Healthy carbs would be vegetables, quinoa, rices, not so much french fries. You know, these things like bread. Bread is so not good, but I love bread. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. You have to really figure out. So, how do you determine how to track your macros? First, you need to find your BMR, what we just talked about. The basal, basal metabolic rate. You need to know the minimum. Then you need to know what is a good ratio for your goals. 50% protein, 30% carbs, 20% fat. It has to equal 100. So think about it like a pie. You've got a pie, say you're 40% carbs, 30% protein, and 30% fat. So you got 70, 30, yeah, that's 100. So you're gonna have to figure out a good balance for your body. Personally, I like to use the MyFitnessPal app. It's free. You can track your macros there. You can put your goals in, and it'll tell you at the top you're eating above your macros, you're eating too little, you've eaten too much fat for the day, you've eaten too many carbs for the day. And so plugging things into MyFitnessPal is a great way to track your macros. I will say though that it is very time consuming and you have to really stick to it if you wanna see progress. It's, it's easy to just use it a couple times and get used to it and then just drop it off the face of the earth and just say, okay, screw it. So that's another way to do it. You, you can track your macros on MyFitnessPal, but if you don't want to get MyFitnessPal, you have to figure out your BMR, you have to figure out the ratio for your body and what you can eat in that pie chart, what percentage of each thing, and then figure out from there what times to eat and things like that. So that's how you do that. You track your macros and that's what's next. And then after you start tracking your macros, you gotta get a solid shopping list. That would be number six. Get a good grocery shopping list and get some good recipes. So number six would be get good recipes, healthy recipes and stick to, what I do is I have like a book, a couple books that I have for cooking and I just go through them and I pick out five to 10 recipes I really like and I just recycle them. I'm really simple and lazy in the kitchen. So I like to just recycle things so that I don't get lost in all the sauce. It's actually a saying from Gucci Mane. Don't get lost in the sauce and don't get lost in the book because it can be so complicated sometimes to cook some of these things and you just wanna give up and just eat 
you know, call the Uber Eats, right? Don't do it. Just pick five to 10 super easy things if you're gonna be making your own nutrition plan and stick to those things. And that is how you make a nutrition plan. So let me just go over the six things really quick in order so that we have a nice summary and you don't forget what I'm talking about. Cause I did go off on a couple little tangents here and there, right? All right guys, so let's recap. What is your weight loss goal? First thing, figure it out, step on the scale and say your goal is to lose weight. I'm 130 now, I wanna be 120. 10 pounds is the goal to lose. That's the first step. Second step, what is gonna be my meal schedule? When am I gonna eat? What times a day am I gonna eat? Am I gonna do an intermittent fasting thing where I just do 16 hours of no eating, eight hours of eating? How am I going to schedule out my eating times? What's best for my body? Only you know your schedule, only you know when you work out. That's another thing, if you're working out, you need to eat after the workouts, a little bit before the workouts, give your body the energy that it needs. So number two, get that feeding schedule. Number three, what is your exercise re regimen? What are you doing? Are you doing crazy strength training? How much food are you gonna need to eat to replenish the muscles and stay healthy as well as hit those weight loss goals or weight gain goals? Number four, what is your BMR? Basal metabolic rate, what is the amount of calories you need to just live a normal, healthy, day-to-day -day life? Five, tracking those macros and figuring out what's necessary, what's not necessary, and cutting the fat. That's the whole point of this. When you do a nutrition plan, it's essential to cut out the stuff that you don't need that's not getting you to your goal. The whole point is to look your best and to feel good too. And number six, get a solid grocery list full of healthy foods and some really good, easy recipes. Unless you like cooking, then go for the more complicated ones that take two hours to cook. Kudos to you, no shade but get yourself some solid recipes that you are interested in, that you wanna cook, that you like, and just follow those things for a while until you get sick of them, and then replace them with something else. So that is how you create a nutrition plan. Those six steps are essential to a good nutrition plan. But if you guys don't wanna create your nutrition plan yourself, because that's a lot of work, I created a custom four week nutrition plan for you guys, where you can send me your information I will take your information, your goals, and all of the things I just talked about, and I will put them into a plan just for you with good recipes based on what you want to eat and if you have any restrictions and anything like that. So if you're interested in getting a nutrition plan, click the link here on the screen, click the link down below in the description, and I will also pin the link in the comments so you guys can see it there. Check out that. And if you decide to do it, that would be amazing. And we can literally work together on getting your nutrition plan started. It is a lot of work, you guys, and I wanna give it to you straight out. This is the six things you need to do. If you're like, screw that, that's way too much work. I got you back, because we're gonna do this together and look our best this year, period. All right, guys, my head is literally throbbing. Don't forget, hit a workout now that you've listened to me talk about nutrition. I'll leave one here on the screen. Don't forget, guys, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to train with me every single day. And hopefully this headache goes away. I'll see you guys later. Bye.